Hi, my name is Amarian Steele. I am from New Orleans originally, but due to Hurricane Katrina hitting in 2005, um, I was actually born in Jacksonville, Mississippi. My interests and hobbies and the way I spend my time is reading. I love to read. I've been reading since I was a kid. Of course. I like to write. I sometimes like to write books. It's a hobby, more of a hobby, not a future job. Uh, another thing I would like to do, I like to do, is edit. I edit sometimes, editing like pictures and videos or movies. And sometimes people would pay me to do it. It's like a little job, a little business that I have. Um, I also like to draw and paint. I sometimes paint portraits for people. And they will also pay me to do that. That's also a business that I have. A little small business. Not much, but it's a little something. I spend most of my time doing painting and editing. But I also spend a lot of time doing my homework for school. Another thing that I like to do it, well something that I spend my time doing is planning for my future which is becoming a doctor my a future career that I want is to become a doctor becoming a doctor is something that I've always wanted to do since I was younger my grandma was a doctor of sorts and she would take me to her the hospital or her little laboratory and she would let me watch her work on her patients let me look through the little tubes and stuff and it was it was very interesting it was something that i've always wanted to do ever since i would buy medical books and just look at them look at the little bodies and stuff a company where i want to work I don't have a specific company right now, but in the future, I, I'll i pick one eventually, of course. I don't have a specific company at the moment, but my three tenure goals would be, my main goal is to be a doctor, guess be a successful doctor. Then I would like to become closer with my family and the third goal would be to have a successful life, like live a successful life, be rich, be a rich doctor. I would say one of my communication strengths is being able to talk loudly whenever I have to present something and speaking publicly. When you speak publicly, you can't have a quiet, hushed voice because people can't hear you and hear what you're saying and they might not take you very seriously. So having a loud voice is very important to have during communications like that, like a whole group to talk loudly. One of my weakness, I would say, is I tend to freeze up when I'm on stage sometimes. And it's a very awkward situation when you freeze up. And sometimes I forget my lines. And after I forget my lines, I feel like I can't do it anymore. And I would have a little panic attack. But sometimes I would compose myself and just go through with it and improvise a bit. I say I can improve that weakness by speaking to myself and hyping myself up before I go out and speak publicly I would say speaking publicly a little bit more not in front of a bunch of people but like a small group of people before I do the large public speaking I think I can improve my nervousness which is my weakness in communication by doing that I think having strong communication will help me in the future because when you're a doctor, you have to tell the patient if their family member or friend passed away. And you don't want to come off as cold and calculated, like very cold. You want 
you want to sound professional, but you want to sound be sweet about it and care per, like at least act like you care for them. That's having strong communication and comfort them in their time of need and tell them that their family member passed away. That's very important as a doctor cuz you don't want to come off as a jerk of sorts. Um I don't like I said I don't really have a specific company I want to work for, but I do want to work at a hospital as a doctor. And having strong communication is definitely something that you need if you want to become a doctor. Well, I hope that you like my video and that this will help me in the future.